If you use Steam, then you need to know about this website. It's called steam.db and well, just like it says, it's a database for everything on Steam. Now I'm gonna show you some of the cool things you can do on this website. Like if you head up to this calculator button and then put in your Steam ID, which you can just simply get from going on your Steam profile, then copying this link. Now paste it in here, choose your country's currency or whichever currency you'd like, and then click on get disappointed in my life. That'll show you what your Steam account is worth, how many hours you have on record, average playtime, and a whole bunch of other cool stats. Now back on the homepage here, we have a few different things it shows us. We have the most played games and it'll tell us how many players are playing now, the 24 hour peak. And as you can see, when you hover over it, it'll tell you a little bit more about the game. If you want to know even more, you can even click on it and it'll bring you to its page with a whole bunch of juicy good stats you can look at. Now over on the right here, we have trending games. Scrolling down, you have popular releases and hot releases. And it even tells you the price of the games down on the side here. Scrolling down a little bit more, this is one of my favorite tabs. It shows you the Steam sale events, all the ones going on right now and the upcoming ones. And if one of these intrigues you, you can simply just click on it and it'll bring you to the page and show you all the games that are on sale in that event. Now back on the homepage here as well, if you keep scrolling down, you're just going to get a few news pop-ups. You can go through those if you want. And another cool little thing is down at the very bottom here, we have recent app events. So essentially, this is going to tell us everything going on with Steam. For example, the most recent thing, you can see this game got renamed to Mysterious. It shows you new demos that come out, all sorts of stuff. Now back at the top here, if we go to the sales tab, this is just another way of getting to the sales. This literally shows you everything that's on sale on Steam. A cool thing you can do on this page is if if you want to see if there's any games 100% off or close to 100% off, just come to this discount slider and slide it all the way. And if you don't want any DLCs to show up or anything, just do filter by type and just hit games only. And then just hit this button that says reload page with new filters. Now, if there's any games that are $0 or 100% off, it'll be at the top here, but you can scroll down and see all these great deals. Now, another thing you can do on this page is click on this when is the next Steam sale. It'll show you all the upcoming events, and at the top here, it'll show you the next major sale, which is the spring sale coming up in 37 days. Now, next, we have this charts tab up here. This is just going to show you more data about Steam, like the most played games all-time peak, 24-hour peak, current players, all that stuff. Next, we have the calendar tab, which just shows you all the big upcoming releases. You can also filter by different months. Now, if you go to the menu button here in the top left of the website, you're going to get more advanced stuff for the database and rankings. Like, for example, you can click on profile badges. It'll show you all the cool stats about profile badges. You also got stuff like most followed upcoming. Shows you all the most followed upcoming games. You even have stuff like top profile levels where you can see the highest level profile in the world or even the most wish listed games. Now also in this menu, there is the browser extension. This is a really handy tool. So when you're on Steam on your browser and you have this installed and when you're looking at a game, it's gonna show you all sorts of awesome stats. Like the player stats, it shows you how many players are online, the Steam DB rating, all sorts of good stuff when you're looking at games. To add it, all you gotta do is just hit add to Chrome or whichever browser you're on. Hit the add button, add extension, and the extension will be added. Just a quick mention, it is gonna ask you to log into your Steam account when you install this extension. So now that it's installed, if I go over onto Steam and click on a random game, and now you can see there's a Steam DB rating, there's online players, a few other stats, and even the lowest recorded price. Now this next thing I'm gonna show you is how you can mass download every single free game on Steam to your account. Yes, you heard that right, every single free Steam game. So if you have the browser extension installed and you're logged into your Steam account on steam.db, just come to the top URL here and type in slash free packages. Hit enter. Now it'll bring you to this page where it'll show you every single free item and game on Steam. I think there's something like over 17,000 games that are free on Steam. And if you wanna add all these to your account, all you have to do is hit activate these packages now. And just like it says here, it'll only add 50 packages per hour. So 50 games per hour. And there's a few different options you can do on this page. Like right here, if you don't wanna add any of the demos to your account, only the games, you can just click right here and it'll hide all the demos. And if for some reason you messed up and you want the demos back, just click here. 
Now, another cool thing you can do here if you're signed in, you can click here and it will show you every single DLC that's free that you can download for games in your Steam library that you didn't know about. If you do end up using this website, I'm really curious to know what your guys' Steam accounts are worth. If you're brave enough to share, leave a comment. Oh, and that video that just popped up on the screen? Yeah, that one, you should watch it. All right, I'll see you there.